dodge this. Morning boys, Solid 43. This is day three of the Gamescom vlog and um, as you can see the weather has gone from absolutely baking hot to a miserable drizzle. Um, <laughs> we're back on the bridge and uh, yeah look it's, it's not too bad. It's not physically raining so it's alright. Not now anyway. So Christian, tell me, what are you looking forward to seeing today? Oh uh, Battlefield 3, obviously. Yeah? We uh uh, PS3 multi uh, co op, right? PS3 co op and PC multiplayer is what we can have a chance of trying. The line was like, what was it, six hours plus long? Yeah, so we're gonna get in early today. We'll give it our best. And um, we actually uh, both made the alarm this time <laughs> after four hours sleep. Although, we gotta say, guys, Ollie 43 is feeling pretty tired. Like, I keep, I, like, I'm still trying to catch up and sleep that we missed the other day. Tell me, what kept you wake, waking you up in the night? The, um, oh yeah, we, our hostel is pretty much next to a hospital. And the hospital is, you know, sirens and that sort of a thing going. General inner city hospital stuff. Yeah, so we kept get, we kept got waking up. I mean, oh, what a giant chest I took one of those here. That's how I came. That's awesome. All right, we need to concentrate. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I saw the sirens keep waking me up on a like a yeah. couple hour basis, so not really getting much sleep at the moment. But I'm sure I'll be fine by this afternoon after I get to see some Battlefield Three. Hoorah! That should get you pumped up. Yeah. Hoorah! Hoorah! In your most British calls. British accent, which you guys love. But I, I take I don't I say I take it for granted, but I, like I don't really think about it. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, Cookie. Oh, look drifting. at that. That's drifting a, I don't know, tons. A 200 ton boat. I like to see 200 tons. I don't know. I'd like to see you do that, Schumacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, this is the bridge. Well, uh, I'm sure we'll do a quick video later on. Yeah, like 20 past, 20 past eight. Uh, we'll do us of one going to the line. Uh, yeah. Battlefield three, and uh, we'll be at the front. Yeah. So, as I say guys, this is the morning. Things to take away from this right now are Ollie 43 is cranky and Christian Casper is all ripped up and raring to go. Hoorah! Yeah, we, we're going to keep the same format today in which that um, uh, we do this little summary and then we go into a hardcore mode. Uh, let's turn left. All right. Hardcore mode? What do you mean by that? Just well, we go into it, like we show photos and uh, yeah. we talk in the room because it's quite distracting being out here because there's pigeons and things. <laughs> oh, it's quite a nice part of town. Yeah. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. We've got gun yeah. So, summary of how long did we wait in line for Battlefield oh, Three? Dear God, we must have waited four hours. More than that, five it was like hours. five hours. And what was the sign when we? What was the sign saying when we left? When we left, the sign to get into Battlefield Three was six hours. Six hours long. And um, imagine sitting for six hours to play a video game. We didn't even sit for fifteen minutes. Yeah, we only got to play fifteen minutes anyway. Uh, no, I keep going up, man. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, we 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 tanked it, didn't we? Five yeah. hours it standing went, in line. It actually went a lot quicker than we expected. And by what it sounds like you're probably sitting there going me that's a that's a lot of time uh, I'm gonna walk. Yeah. it's really windy so really maybe if I do this <laughs> stop the wind I'd love to see your hand that's right it's not too bad um, oh look we got the uh, Roman ruins oh okay here, here you go guys a bit of culture for you a bit of culture yes anyway it's it you, you hear five hours it actually went a lot quicker than that well technically time is the same is a constant but so, so it felt like it was quicker than five hours, so it was good enough. We had a little excitement right at the beginning with people trying to cut in. Oh yeah, don't worry guys, me and Christian Casper were tanks and we took, well that car's trying to run me down, it's the Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
but uh, they still have a mafia. We, we were like the supreme beings there with the uh, superior more. We'll, we'll morale, get we'll get into more. it more when we get back to the uh, hostel, yeah. but. Basically, what happened is me and Chris and Casper threw down our authority and was like, nobody else is cutting this in line. This is not going to happen. We will not let this continue. And trust me, that is hard to do when you don't speak the language. And when you got 2,000 nerds around the screen. Yeah. And like we could have cut our um, thing down from like five hours, I'd say to two, like an hour. Hour, hour and a half, maybe. Hour and a half. So. Oh, hello. What? Wedding. Oh, let's get a lovely photo. Video. Video. Okay. Let's get a video. Oh, this is quite Roman culture up here. The local Roman. cuisine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what were we saying? Oh, yeah. So we could have cut our time to like an hour and a half. Yeah. But we wanted to be fair and we sort of made a point of yeah. not doing it. Yeah, because, because, well, we'll get into it later actually. But yeah, we, we thought regardless of what other people are doing, it's not the right thing to do. So, but we'll talk about it later. Just, I'm just gonna let the music play. Okay, can't really hear it, and it's kind of windy. No, actually, Christian, let's do it now. Let's talk about it now. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're we're lined up next to the big box. This is basically a huge box that Battlefield 3 is inside. All the computers are in, and the the uh, you, you know the sort of the oh, what's it called the the fabric markers that like the dividers yeah, the that people queue around. So it was one of those, and it went up almost flush to, the, flush to the wall. Because it wasn't flush, someone decided, hey, wouldn't it be a great idea to move it a meter away? And we all flood in, cutting off three quarters of the key. Of the, of the line, yeah. yeah. And so they're flooding in, and obviously me and Ollie are showing our disapproval. And this other kid, who's a couple people in front, grabs the pole and puts it back in its place. And so he ended up cutting a group in half. So there's these four kids, and only two of them got through. And they, obviously the other two weren't happy with it, and they started trying to move it across. So I put my foot down on the pillar and tell them... Like I, a beast. I tell them, no, you're going to go around as everyone else is. And obviously they don't speak the language, so they're like, <laughs> and, and the other kid, the other kid that moved the pole back into his position was nodding in agreement with me. So we uh, so we are uh, we put our foot down there, and uh, I moved the pillar around into a better position so they can't couldn't move it, and we just went on our way. Dude, I think we missed our turning. We kind of lost. Aren't we? <laughs> All right, let's walk this, this way. We're going a different way. Oh wait, where's the um, big tower? Uh, I think it's this way, right? Just left. Ish. Oh, there's a pub. As let's long just... as we keep going left, it's all right. All right, we'll just keep going. Hey, there. there's the museum. We're doing good. Oh, there we are. Okay. So okay. So, so yeah. So me and this kid are. Uh, uh, preventing anyone else getting through and the kid turns his back for like 10 seconds and someone's unclipped unclipped the divider and everyone has and, and, and like another five or six people have flooded through so like me and him are frantically grabbing for the divider clip it back on place and then what you know his friend went through even though he was trying to do the right thing his friend went through anyway so now he he and his friend are either side of the divider and other people are trying to get through including who else was in? There's these two guys, Ollie. Oh, right, yeah. There was these, like, two... Imagine, right? Close your eyes. Well, you don't have to close your eyes. But just imagine two sweaty, fat, sort of 38-year-old oh. German guys. You know, dark... Oh, they had... You'd expect blonde hair, but they had dark hair. Yeah. And, uh, but they were really big and bulky. Let's go up this way. Yeah, mate. Um, but, um... So, yeah, these two were a part of, like, a clan. And they had, um, don't cheat, play hard. And the ironic thing is, On they the cut. Yeah, they cut the queue. So it's just like at first we were thinking, all right, these guys are going to be on our side because they clearly have some sort of moral, moral ground. Yeah, that's right. We, we crossed the road without you guys. <laughs> and uh, well, yeah, and then they cut in, which we were crazy surprised, weren't we, to say yeah. the least? So anyway, the queue moves forward, and our buddy, we'll call him. Stayed, stayed with the other side of the fence with his friend, but just stayed in his place. Sat, sat on his picnic chair. Was sorry, having lunch or whatever. So, uh, so we assumed that he was just going to stay there till, like his, till people had gotten around, because he was, he seemed to be waiting for other friends or whatever. So we, so yeah, so we're, but we've got our eye on him anyway. So we're just watching. And what do you know? People start trying to cut in again when he's got his back turned. So I walk off and go and get a member of staff for like the tenth time that someone's gotten something, someone, and they come over and say, yeah, we'll get peace member security over, and people start cutting. Okay, 
member of staff walks away, and what do you know, our buddy has cut in queue as well. So, basically, it all went pear shaped. Yeah. But it's okay, so when Christian Casper ran off to get the, um, to get the security people, this whole, like, zipper thing, you know, that divides the queue, like, yeah. was completely undone, and the, and the queues were completely screwed with, and basically the people that are queued for, like, two hours, uh, that were in the queue, they were not happy, because obviously their place had been... Oh, of course. So, I decided to zip everything back. Yes. And I was like, boom! <laughs> That's right. You queue like everyone else. But, uh... Then the security guard turned up. And then the security guard turned up and went away, and turned up and went away. And, uh... I don't know, it, eventually people stopped cutting in, but... I wasn't really happy with it. EA didn't do a great job of, of preventing people cheat, uh, cutting in place. But, bottom line is... Um, people were trying to get in, we stopped them, we were the only two. Yeah, we were the only two people in the end who And EA cared. should give us a free copy. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Alright, so, uh, okay Christian, let's get into the details. Uh, we've got some stuff going on in the background of uh, Gamescom, us going in and sort of the queues. It was pr pretty mental today. Yeah, oh, it was crazy. Um, so we are, yeah, we're just going to have that on the background. We're going to talk about Battlefield 3. So... Christian, I think it's fair to say that you are more excited about Battlefield 3 than me. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm more excited about Battlefield 3 than I am Modern Warfare 3, that's for sure. Alright, so why don't you lead the uh, yeah, initial okay, thoughts. Okay, uh, from when we got in. Right, so when we got in, we uh, the first thing we had was the video, which was basically an extended gameplay of the trailer that we've already seen, which is alright, but, I mean, doesn't really bring much new to the table. No. We had already seen the, the uh, majority Destruction of it. 2.0, whatever it's called, 3.0, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I didn't care too much for that, whatever. But then we got to do the 64, uh... Was it 64? 64? Yeah, there were 64 people in the room at once. No. Yeah. There was 32 yeah. computers each side? Yeah. I know you can't... Pretty sure. Now there was rows of about 10. Rows of about yeah. 10. Wow. So, we yes. played 64 plus 64. 64. Uh, no, 64 in total. Yeah, for 32. Yeah, 32 for each side. Uh, wow. PC if you guys didn't realize, which was a lot of fun. It, it, what do you have, like 16 minutes the timer said? Mm. And uh, the the controls took a long time to get used to, and my hand is too small for the keyboard, so, <laughs> so I mean, I couldn't use it to my full, its full potential, but oh, the graphics were amazing, the sound was amazing. Shame about the headsets they gave us, though. Yeah, they were pretty crappy headsets. I mean, they were comfortable, uh, yeah. but they were just not really... They were just standard stereo Sennheisers. 20 pound yeah. gaming headsets. Whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, the game, it did not feel like 32 players. Yeah, I mean, the map was huge, so it was difficult. The map was to a size where it would take you a good five minutes to get from one side to the other. Yeah. Um, on, on not just length, but width as well. It was really a really yeah. wide map. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't linear at all. But we should probably say, basically... 32 people versus 32 people. It was like a domination-esque game. Yeah, Conquest. Oh, Conquest, yeah. you'd call it in Battlefield. And there was jets flying around, there was tanks moving helicopters, around. Helicopters. Helicopters. Drones. All, all sorts. sorts of crazy stuff. Now, it was good. We are pushed for time, but weapons, like, there was a crazy amount of weapons and a crazy amount of customization oh, yeah, available. Yeah. Like, well, I don't recognize most, most weapons from Bad Company 2 made a revisit. Mm -hmm. And then... Just a whole bunch of other. I I wanted to play more than see what was in it, so I didn't really I didn't really see what yeah what weapons there were available. From honest, but it was crazy. Like you got perks. Now I didn't really know what I was selecting because um, you know we had no explanation and most of it was in German. But there was a lot of customization to be had yeah. there. Oh no, it's, more yeah. than any uh, battlefield that I've played. For sure. Yeah, I mean, there were certain perks in Bad Company too, but this certainly took it to a new level. It did indeed. Um, but yeah, the map we played was not the map that everyone else has played no, on the like Alpha. Uh, Caspian but, something. Yeah, the best way to explain it would be like a, um, like a kind of plain, which was kind of jungle esque, green, yeah. um, you know, hills, trees here and there, um, but rivers, waterfalls, but it was a beautiful map. Oh, it looked fantastic. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to it, even though I'm more of a Call of Duty kind of guy. Yeah. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to buying it. Yeah, I'm definitely excited as well. So, uh, yeah guys, uh, let us know in the comment section, are you excited? Um, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, 
And this has been Ollie43, Christian Casper, and uh, we will catch you guys next time. Take it easy.